Hello and thank you for tuning in once again. I'm Ryan Meeks, your Valley Realtor, and you're watching the Escape to Arizona YouTube channel. If you're looking to buy or sell here in Arizona, feel free to reach out on one of my social links below. And if you're relocating, I have a free relocation guide down in the description. So take a look at that. If you're looking to learn more about Power Ranch in Gilbert, Arizona, stay tuned. You've tuned into one of the most comprehensive and up-to-date videos on this wonderful community that's on YouTube. As of 2020, Power Ranch is home to about 33,000 residents living within about four square miles. There's 11 neighborhoods, each built around a central park, which acts as the hub for neighborhood activities such as sports competitions and neighborhood get-togethers. Each neighborhood is also connected through a 26-mile trail system. This trail system allows all the neighborhoods to have easy access to the two main parks in the neighborhood as well as each individual neighborhood park. You don't even have to cross your main, the busiest street, to get from the north part to the south part of Power Ranch. There's a tunnel that provides access to the north and south sides via the trail system. These two main parks host the majority of amenities and neighborhood activities, as you'll see in this video. Before we get into each individual neighborhood, let's talk about these amenities and activities available to Power Ranch residents. The community consists of two parks, one on the north side and one on the south side of Germain. The north park is called Trailside Park and it features a barn for events, a swimming pool aimed at smaller children, and a large lake for catch and release fishing. The barn is rentable for $100 per hour and is actually getting a facelift in the summer of 2020. Side note, if you're going to have alcohol there, you need to hire a security guard, usually about $125 for weddings and other special events. The barn and the adjacent lot host the Power Ranch Farmer's Market every Wednesday where you can get anything from fresh produce to desserts. There's also a variety of fruit trucks if you don't feel like cooking that night. The Power Ranch HOA also hosts a variety of events here throughout the year like the Bliss Boutique, Funtober Halloween event, and even a princess party for the girls just to name a few. Behind the barn features a picturesque landscape which is used for wedding ceremonies or just extra green space for the kids to run around. You'll help your early swimmers with the play pool which is right next to the barn and features a three foot depth pool complete with sea creatures that have different water features. The other side of the pool goes to six feet and if you don't feel like swimming there's about 10 new canopy the HOA has just installed this past season to shield you from the sun along with some nice recliners. If you need to use the restroom while at the pool, just wipe your car and you can get into the outdoor bathroom. The pool is typically open year-round, but it really isn't used until May through October. Steps away from the pool is a large catch and release lake, and it's a great place to spend time with your family and take in the views. On the south side of Germain, it's connected by a trail system from the barn, and it's the main park called the Ranch House Park and Clubhouse. This area features a few different amenities. First, we have the carriage house, which is where the HOA works full time and can answer your questions during business hours. One of the few communities to actually have a working HOA in the community. It also has a conference room and an indoor area along with a patio that residents can rent out or throw fun events at. The ranch house is another area for residents to use and is currently being remodeled to be used by small businesses within Power Ranch. It also features a large commercial kitchen with sitting for parties and other events. The ranch house is surrounded by a two acre lake with a pier that extends into the lake, making it a great place for catch and release fishing or just snapping a few epic selfies. The outdoor rock area includes a few large play structures, a volleyball court, a basketball court, and a bocce ball court. And if you don't have bocce balls, you can rent them at the HOA. Beyond this area is 11 acres of green space for soccer, football, and we even play ultimate frisbee at this park. The park is completed with a heated Olympic sized swimming pool which residents can use year round and it's designated in the morning just for lap swimming. It also has a small baby pool and multiple ramadas with built in barbecues. Next to the main pool there's even a splash pad for the little kids. The ranch house area is host to multiple events throughout the year such as Polar Express and the community camp out and last year we had Ryan and the Renegades the best local country cover band performed for the residents. 
Both parks act as anchors for the neighborhoods that surround them. Now we're going to take a look at each neighborhood here specifically, and I'm not going in any particular order. And the first neighborhood I'm going to talk about is Mountain View. Mountain View sits to the south and borders Queen Creek. And with Mountain View, the main park features picnic tables, grills, multiple ramadas for shade, park benches, and a signature playground. Now some of the homes in Mountain View have great views of Santan Mountain, and that's probably why the neighborhood's called Mountain View. Next neighborhood is the Groves, and the Groves lies just north of Mountain View. The main park features a basketball court, a volleyball court, and a huge green space with a ramada and benches. You can usually find a group of dads playing basketball here every Saturday morning. A recent addition to this park includes a little library to give and get new books. In the green belt nearby and just down the block from the main park, there's a kids playground which features swings, a small zip line, and some slides. The green belt leads directly to the school. To the east of the groves is the Vineyards neighborhood. The Vineyards main park includes a huge green space with one ramada and a few picnic tables complete with grills. There's a playground and a large play structure that includes a few obstacle type contraptions. And the green space here just received some new park benches as there are many sports and activities that parents watch here. And to the east, not far from the main park, is a tot lot with swings and a play structure. And kids love riding their bikes up and down the hill, and dog lovers love playing with their dogs in this area as well. Just adjacent to this park is yet another park, which is characterized by 50-foot palm trees and features a beautiful green space with a grill, picnic tables, and benches. And this links up to the main walking path connecting all the neighborhoods. Just east of the vineyards is the Orchards neighborhood. Here in the orchards, there's a huge park and a beautiful field highlighted by terraced grassy seating, and it has a shady overlook and double curved trellis. The play structure is the most updated in Power Ranch and includes swings and a Spider-Man type structure. It features multiple picnic tables along with grills and is probably the prettiest of the parks with its unique staircase connecting the green belt to the actual park. Coming up next is the Oaks neighborhood. Their main park features a basketball court along with picnic tables, barbecue ramadas, and a main playground structure. This neighborhood also features many homes with basements and is the only neighborhood that features Toll Brothers homes, with some of them over 4,000 square feet. The Arbors neighborhood is just south of Germain and adjacent to the main wash. The Arbors Park features 50-foot palm trees and is the only park in Power Ranch that sports lighted double tennis courts. Older folks are also found playing pickleball here occasionally. The lush green space attracts outdoor gamers, frisbee players, and even joggers. The main place structure features swings and plenty of ramadas and picnic benches for parties. Our next neighborhood is Meadowview. Meadowview offers two different parks, and one of the parks has two full court basketball courts and features a ramada and a little picnic area along with a huge green space. Its second spot has a smaller green space and features a park, which also has a ramada, picnic area, and of course another place to barbecue. This neighborhood sits just south of the barn and probably has the easiest access to the lake, the play pool, and other things at the Trailside Park. Next on our list is the Grange. The Grange neighborhood has a half-court basketball area which sits next to a stylish ramada and a park with picnic benches and a grassy lawn area. This park also has a climbing structure and sits next to one of my personal favorite bike trails. The Willows neighborhood is one of the two neighborhoods that feature patio homes clustered together a bit closer for a price much less than most single family homes here in Power Ranch. One of the parks sits right inside of these patio homes and features a play area, green space, and a ramada with a barbecue grill. Another park nearby in the Willows features a basketball court with ramada, and the third park features a turf sports field, volleyball area, play structure with swings and riding toys, and a climbing wall. It also has a ramada for shade with a barbecue and features benches around the perimeter of the park. Next up is the Knolls. The Knolls is a neighborhood which sits to the northeast with easy access to the gas station, Home Depot, and other stores along Power Road. There are two large parks within the Knolls, one which has a recreational softball field complete with the bases. 
There are three pools and two of the pools have play parks along with the green space right next to them. The third pool sits alone and there's even a hot tub located at all these pools. Additionally, there is a basketball court, full court basketball court, right smack dab in the middle of these homes. Knowles residents do pay an extra HOA fee for these amenities, however. The Timbers neighborhood is the northernmost neighborhood and the park here features a green space with a turf volleyball, climbing walls, swings, park structures, and a ramada with barbecue and benches. No matter where you live in Power Ranch, your neighborhood will have something to offer you. And one of the coolest things is that if you want to change it up, it's just a short bike ride away. Being a family-oriented neighborhood, the residents in the area just north of Germain have access to Centennial Elementary School, and the areas to the south have access to Power Ranch Elementary. Middle schoolers on the north side can go to Cooley Station, while the middle schoolers to the south go to Sossaman Middle School. All the teens then go to Higley High School, which is a beautiful outdoor campus just to the north. And since Arizona has open enrollment, these schools are not even required. Power Ranch truly is one of the best master plan communities here in Gilbert. And if you want to take a look around Power Ranch or anywhere else, feel free to give me a call. I'd love to show you around. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop. Thank you.